Stupid scavengers, stupid cliffs. This never would have happened if- Okay, that's it. What happened up there? Oh, we got shaken down by a couple of scavengers and they took our swords. Well, at least you're okay, right? <sighs> I guess. Just haven't felt this pathetic since... Well, it's been a long time. Now we've got nothing to protect us against a normal Enderman, let alone a giant one. Well, I mean, it's not the first time we've been seemingly defenseless. We'll be okay. Hey, I did it to save your life, Jack. I had it taken care of. You were hanging off a cliff. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I, you know, I... Guess this is how they keep the mobs out. Strangers! Strangers! Pinta! Ooh, what do we do here, Jesse? Ah! Huh. She's still running. Hey, we're not strangers. We're visitors. Coming to visit. You know, like visitors do. That makes no sense. No one visits us. Uh, makes sense, I guess. I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. Inta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well-armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Don't they have more important things to worry about? Oh, man. I love trivia. You do? Yes! It's so fun! Flexing those brain muscles, taking your mind off the incredible misery in the world, crushing down on you every... I mean, uh... Oh, look at that! Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. I wasn't sure an outsider would understand. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. The door stays locked until someone wins. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. Poor thing had no chance of growing down here. Might still be useful, though. What are you up to? Uh huh. Uh, uh oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Hey, um, Jesse? Yeah. Do you think Radar still thinks. I don't know. Uh, I feel like everyone's looking at me differently. You noticed it too, right? Uh, he's being weird with me. Like, like he thinks I'm still. still with the admin or something. Hey. 
I know you better than anyone, right? You're still the same Petra you've always been. <laughs> Hard-headed? <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. That makes me feel better. Just had to, you know, make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. So... So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. But I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. Hi, um... Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hoe. It's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool, yeah, sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. Don't freak out. I'm backing away. Nice and non-threatening. I can definitely use these. the bucket nice moves radar you've been practicing uh -huh. well thanks I didn't know you were uh, just want to be ready anyway the Oasis and Fred's keep are all you know kind of broken but I wonder what this place looked like before bet it was amazing the admin's not gonna do this to Beacon Town is he we have no idea what he's doing up there it could be all gone and we'd have no idea it's up to us to protect them. We're the only thing standing between them and the admin. And... we will. We'll make sure nothing bad happens to them. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. One, two, and a half. Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet, but you'll never guess his name. Never! You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? You guys find anything useful? <laughs> Keep up the good work. The Creepers never even stood a chance. The leader of Dresh Najel Valley was not an emotional man. But that day, that day, he shed a tear. That's one way to gather information, I guess.
You are... Wow. You are really cute. Serious fetch artist. Hey there, little guy. I've got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him! Dog! What are you. Oh no! Waffles! Waffles, come back! Come back! Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. Let me guess. Fred like to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this, but these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done! Prompt-like! <laughs> I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished! You got it. So that's Fred, huh? All right, time to make a painting. Here you go. All done. <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue. Lapis blue. Lapis blue? Same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> You are? Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent! And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent! Be my best friend! You got this, Jesse! Don't let him intimidate you! I wouldn't be so sure of that, Kent. Fred is my middle name. Ah, a likely story. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! Nice. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That... that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though... 
I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! Yes! What? Yes! This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! Silence from the audience, please. Sorry! His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct! Well done! Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hole. Obviously. Very good! Jesse. Fred had a constant companion, a fine, feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Silence, please. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles for the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am... Rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. <laughs> Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? Uh, no one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. But, but, uh, I, I... Time's running out. We need an answer. Oh! Oh! Didn't Zara say something about this? Could have been jungle or birch? I don't... Silence, please! Our competitors are thinking! Right, right. It's birch. It's birch! You... Uh... Yes! Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite! That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You know, Kent did a great job out there. He should have the, uh, sleeping garments. You would really... I don't need your pity prize. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? <laughs> Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? Guess blue really is Fred's favorite color. Even the bed's blue. No one will mind if I just... <laughs> the 
foundation. Whoa. Half the pages are gone. And the rest? There are a lot of notes. Community didn't seem to be as important to him. Whatever ideals that he'd had when he'd started, they'd shifted, rerouted. Something else had settled on his soul. The rest is marked out. Empty. No one's used this thing for a long time. Nothing in here now, except that button. It's a... Uh... Whoa, secret room. There's gotta be something down here. Three towns. There's the oasis there, and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. <laughs> Seriously? What kind of name is a Romeoburg? Another... book. Great. But it's unmarked. No author. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. This... this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us, together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Uh... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge. And it was shared with me in great confidence before... Well... Before this place was considered underneath. I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in, Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. Your friend Jack spoke of all these lands we've never heard of. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one, but I must admit I'm curious. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now, he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but... There's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock! Above? Binta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there! It has to be better than this. We're safe here! And if Romeo... Romeo trapped us down here. He wants us to stay. I won't give him the satisfaction. He won't like us going up there. You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. 
Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. So, I know I can trust you with this. I hate to ask, but how do I know this is what you say it is? Look, Fred taught us to look out for one another. I take that very seriously. I wouldn't be parting with something so special to me otherwise. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... You go on ahead. I, um... I'm gonna stay here. See what I can do to help. What? No, Jack, we have to stick together. Not this time. We're the best chance they've got to get out. Us and that portal Zara's fixing. I can do some good here. Help Binta convince them. Jack, what are you talking about? We can't just split up. Jesse, talk some sense into him. You're a good guy, Jack. Helping these people is the right thing to do. Thank you, Jesse. I hoped you'd see it that way. Huh? Oh. Friends don't leave friends behind. It won't be for long. Once you get the weapon, we'll get out of here. Just like we planned. You're not even gonna let us try to change your mind, are you? No. Petra, I... Whatever. We'll see you at the Oasis. When you set off that firework Binta gave you, I'll come running.